What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am pretty excited for today's video because one, I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize my life on Google Calendar, which is very exciting, super aesthetic, productive, color-coded, all of that stuff that I literally live for. But even more exciting than that, I have a really big announcement to make in this video. I've been working on this project for a while, which you guys already know about because I've talked about it briefly and unspecifically in my vlogs, but finally the time has come to announce it. But let's jump into the Google Calendar. Gotta put my blue light blocking glasses on. I'm really trying to get better about wearing these because I get major headaches because I spend my entire day in front of the screen. But anyway, here's a little overview of what my Google Calendar looks like. I follow a very similar style to what a lot of people do uh, that rely on Google Calendar for like their whole life. I really love using Google Calendar to structure out everything. It really helps hold me accountable and I'm the type of person where if I didn't write it down then it's not going to happen because I'm scatterbrained and forget a lot of things so this system really works out well for me. I time block kind of everything out in this Google Calendar. I also use like Google Calendar in combination with my digital planner but for the sake of this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how I organize my life with Google Calendar. I guess I'll show you guys like how the color coding system works. So I have mine on a Monday start just so that way it's a like traditional work week Monday through Friday and then I'll also add in things on the weekend because I do access my Google Calendar from my phone. So this isn't just for work, this is literally for everything. I block out the first two hours for just my morning routine and this has helped me a lot. I've been doing this since the beginning of 2023 and it's just time where I'm not working on anything for work and if you're an entrepreneur, business owner, or even if you work somewhere and you're just one of those people that tends to work outside of work hours, this has helped me a lot. This gives me time for me and it's marked on my calendar. I know I'm not supposed to be working on anything for work, or for my business, anything like that. This is my time. So you could get like super specific with this if you wanted. I just have gym walk stretch marked out. I don't do all three of these every day. It's just kind of like the days I go to the gym, some days I walk, some days I stretch. But I am trying to get some kind of movement in every single day. So that's why I have that blocked off. It's not always 7 to 7.45, but somewhere in this window because I typically from 8 to 9 am like getting ready for work. And today's Sunday so this preview is for next week. And the way that I'm able to color code everything is by having each task be its own category and then color coding it with a label. So each type of task is a different calendar and then you just color code these calendars however you want. So admin is just administrative tasks. I have appointments for like doctor's appointments, orthodontist, hair appointments, things like that content creation, obviously desk work is just anything that I'm just sitting at my desk, like basic stuff. So this could be responding to emails, keyword research, things like that. And then fitness, obviously freelance. I have this as a calendar on here, even though I'm starting to get away from freelance stuff, I still have a few freelance clients that I'm working with for social media stuff. So I have that on there if I have any tasks that I need to do for that. I recently added home projects and then shared this with Chad because we have different things around the house that we're trying to work on and it's literally like a project. Like we need to clean and organize our garage. So we actually have that on for next weekend. Hopefully we manage to get to that. And then the meetings are in pink. Personal stuff, reminders, self-care, social media management, Sunstyled, which is my online boutique. Tasks and to-do sound like they're the same thing, but for me, to-do lists are things that I'm like time blocking and then tasks are just some point in my day, I need to get this thing done. Um, more or less a reminder, I guess you could say but I also have reminders, I don't know. I use them differently though. And then YouTube, obviously for YouTube stuff. Every week on Monday, I like to start out by writing the weekly newsletter, and this is gonna go out to all the people who are part of Mastery by Mel, which I haven't told you guys about yet, but just stay tuned. Content scheduling is obviously content scheduling. I have blocked out a break for every single day because if I don't do this, I literally will not take a break. Like if I don't have it in my schedule, I will just keep working and I've done it before and then I won't even like eat lunch or anything. So. This is just part of self-care. I really like using the tasks feature because I do have the tasks on my phone as well, which is a separate app. So it's really nice to be able to just have quick little to-do tasks that you can just mark complete. So I need to update inventory for Sunstyled. If you guys don't know, I recently introduced dropshipping to my online boutique so I can offer more styles, a larger selection, and it also allows me to work on the other things that I've been doing lately and not have to stress so much about the packing orders aspect of it. I can kind of focus on the more enjoyable side for me. 
takes the fulfillment out of the picture. This varies per day, but I do have it blocked off every single day for a few hours of just social media management. So this is including engagement, clients that I manage social media for, and then a lot of this has actually been the project that I have been most recently working on. And then I have it blocked in end of day routine. So from four to five every day, I am just finalizing any tasks that I need to get done that day, following up with any clients and things like that. And one day out of the week, I just have an hour blocked off for weekly chores just to make sure that I get to all the things like laundry, dusting, disinfecting the counters, cleaning the bathroom, things like that. And my therapist really wants me to be journaling every night, so we have that in here. And a few hours for night routine, which typically is just skincare and hanging out with my husband, watching TV, reading my book, and going to bed. But ever since I started implementing this system, especially with the color coding, it has helped me a lot with productivity, staying on task, and also just like having a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day, which is big for me because if I checked off everything and kind of followed the flow of what I outlined, it helps a lot. And the night before, I will go in and add anything else in. The discovery calls, you'll understand what that is in just a second. But these are automatically integrated from my Calendly. So when someone signs up, they get added to my calendar. And those types of little automations make my life so much easier. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm getting over being sick and my voice sounds a little bit hoarse. I'm not gonna lie. So trying to stay hydrated. I have water right here and coffee. But I didn't want to wait any longer to film this video because I'm so excited. So let's just get into the big announcement. I am launching an online coaching program for aspiring creators, entrepreneurs, small business owners, anyone who wants to learn how to grow a following on social media. This is something I've wanted to do for a really long time because one, I really enjoy teaching. I mean, my degree is in education, although I didn't enjoy teaching in the classroom. I do really enjoy teaching people skills and things that I've learned. And I've always kind of been the go-to person, like wherever I've worked and whoever I surround myself with when it comes to anything relating to social media, personal branding, building community and things like that. And starting a YouTube channel obviously changed the trajectory of my entire life. And I'll never be able to express just how grateful I am for your guys' support throughout everything that I've done across my YouTube journey. I mean, I feel like I've been on the internet forever and you guys have watched me like be a teacher and then decide to go back to school and then do college content and then be a business owner and then working somewhere not working somewhere working for myself like just so many ups and downs and through all of this i've had the beauty of being able to have a sustainable income through social media and i think it's incredible and it's not going anywhere it's, it's such a useful skill to have but it can be really really difficult getting started at my previous job i worked at a strategic marketing slash consulting company and i had the opportunity to work with a lot of small business owners and people who wanted to grow a following online and they would come in and they would pay for consulting sessions or strategic masterminds with my boss who owned the firm that i worked for and i got to help firsthand build out the strategies that were going to help them grow on social media and just like start that process of building an organic following so that they can ultimately monetize from it. All of their goals were different. Some people were a product-based business, service-based business, or just regular people who work any other job and they don't want to work that job anymore. They wanna do social media for a living. I don't really like saying the word influencer. I prefer content creator because I feel like influencer has a negative connotation with it. So we're gonna be using the term content creator. But essentially I built out a 12 week program where people like you will learn how to build an effective social media strategy that's going to sustain you long term. So not just about getting one viral video or copying what everyone else is doing or feeling like you have to choose some sort of a niche that's popular right now and maybe it won't be in the future. This program was designed for women who have tried social media in the past and maybe failed, always wanted to do something on social media. Maybe you feel like you have a skill, you have a message that you want to share with the world, or you're just really into beauty and fashion. Maybe you travel a lot and you feel like you could create really good content, but you like have no clue where to get started. Or maybe you're a small business owner or you're thinking about becoming a small business owner and you want to grow an organic following so that you can make money using social media. Whatever the case may be, this program is meant to be versatile and transformative. It's 12 weeks long and it's a creative blend of training, coaching, and accountability. So I really really spent a lot of time looking into how other coaches are doing this. There's some other social media coaches out there. There's a lot of life coaches, mental health coaches. I really wanted to take my expertise in building an online community, personal branding, small business, entrepreneurship, that kind of thing, but also couple it with the things that I've learned along my journey doing this 
so that I can teach you how to do it in a healthier way to avoid burnout, to prevent body dysmorphia and like the dreaded comparison. I don't want people to suffer from imposter syndrome like I did. And I don't want you to feel like you have to hustle and go, go, go all the time because that is exactly what I did that led me to burnout. So I structured this program to prioritize self-care so that you can grow your social media following and your mental health at the same time. If you guys watch my vlogs, then you know I've been in therapy for over a year and the skills that I have learned from therapy have been quite literally life-changing for me. And all I want is to share that with the world. And while I will never regret starting a career on social media, there are definitely things I wish that I would have done differently if I had known the things that I know now. And so if I can make a difference to even just one content creator or small business owner, I will feel so good about myself. And so that's why I created this program. There's two different programs to choose from and both of them are 12 weeks long. There's the Social Mastery group program and then there's the Social Mastery solo program. Both programs include weekly Zoom calls, which I am so excited to get to connect with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So the group ones, it will be a group of other women where we can all collaborate and talk about things. We're gonna be going over like our high for the week, our low for the week. We're gonna talk about limiting beliefs. We're gonna talk about how to deal with hate, how to appear more confident in front of the camera, going over social media goals, and just in general networking with other women who are trying to do the same thing you're doing. I am literally so excited to build this community. I didn't quite realize until my last job how much I enjoyed helping people with this stuff until I was doing it. And I was like, I love this. Like, this is so much fun to me to teach people how to do this. But I have such an emphasis on doing it in a healthy way, which is why there's gonna be a lot of that mindset development blended into the program. So that way you learn how to build an effective social media strategy, but you're also nurturing your own social and like emotional well-being because social media is a brutal place let me tell you I just want to teach you guys how to do it the right way and social mastery solo is still going to have those components of being able to network with other women in a Facebook group and a community slack but the solo is going to be for people who want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention so they're going to get an additional weekly zoom call that is solo a personalized social media strategy so it's really geared for them specifically and their niche kind of just that one-on-one -on -one time with me to talk through their goals and their specific content strategy and then Monday through Friday direct line of communication with me so there's some added perks there but obviously the solo is going to be a more expensive package but both programs are gonna set you up for success so if building a following on social media is something you're interested in something you've been wanting to do 2023 is about to be your year and I am so excited for it if you guys are interested in signing up I do have a tentative launch date for the first official social mastery group and it starts in one week from today if you have questions for me, I am doing free discovery calls because I wanna make sure that you're a good match for the program before you sign up. So definitely sign up for that ahead of time. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. It'll just be like a 15 minute phone call with me, find out who you are, what your goals are, and make sure that this program is going to give you the results you're looking for. I can't believe I finally made this announcement to you guys. I have been working on this since December. This little project is what got me out of my rut and made me excited and passionate about something again. I just can't wait to connect with you guys on a more personal level. And I have the 12 week program mapped out so that each week we have a different lesson that corresponds with social media as well as a mental health slash mindset component. So after each session, you're walking away with more valuable information to help you grow on social media. It's also a weekly accountability because we're gonna be talking about, okay, did you post your Instagram reels? Did you do your daily engagement? You know, how did it go? Where did you fall short? And things like that, because I feel like a lot of people need that accountability. Sometimes you just need someone standing there making sure you're getting your stuff done. And if you really wanna take your social media goals seriously, this program is for you. I did create a new Instagram account for Mastery by Mel, so I will have that linked in the description if you guys want to go follow it. That's where I'll be sharing all of my social media tips and tricks, behind the scenes stuff, everything as it relates to my coaching and consulting business. Oh, and before I end the video, the first round of students to sign up for my program are going to get it at a discounted price for being the very first people to sign up, for being the guinea pigs. I feel like I have to offer some sort of a discount because you know, this is my first time doing this. While I do have a lot of experience and working at my previous job added on to that, this is a brand new program and you're taking a chance on me. So you get that exciting, welcoming discount offer. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope that you are as excited as I am. And as always, I mean this like to the depth of my core. Thank you for supporting me through everything. I know that my life can be a little complicated to keep up with sometimes because I'm always trying something new um, and I am trying to learn to love that side of myself because I've spent many years being very frustrated by all of the change that I'm constantly seeking in my life and the trying new things and now I'm doing this, now I'm doing that. Um, I've spent too long hating it and now we are 
learning to love ourselves and follow our passions and this is one of the things that's come of it. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.